Entering trades into Option View is very simple. To do so, bring up a matrix, and we will focus on the trade area of the cell in which we want to enter an options trade. Notice here we have an existing position of long 500 shares of Microsoft. For us to perhaps sell a covered call, we would go to the trade area, type in minus 5, hit enter, and that is now a proposed trade. To make that trade an existing position, we would click on the Convert Trades button, and when we do so, that minus 5 will shift over, become an existing position, and will simultaneously be entered into our transaction log. So let's do that right now. Ready? One, two, three. There it popped over. It is now an existing position. And when we go to the T log, we can see that that trade was entered right there with all the uh, cells filled in accurately. What you do not want to do is just come to the T log, click, and start typing in entries. It's far better to come into the matrix, even if you're using Backtrader to bring your T-log up to speed, up to date, go to Backtrader, go back in time, type in the entry, hit Convert Trades, and let all those uh, bits of information get entered into your transaction log automatically. It will be far more accurate, and there will be far less chance of inaccuracies. Okay, let's go to that T-log. There's a few things I want to show you. Go to the top left. Let's go through these buttons a little bit. Here you can print the T-log. And when you do so, you can select a printer or you may want to have it printed out into a format that you can open in Excel. And this will print a file, a CSV file that you can convert in Excel and really go to town in. So uh, that's one feature that we find very helpful. Next you can do a print preview. You can import data into your T-log. Also, you can import thinkorswim trades. Then if you have a very long uh, T-log, uh, you can use the find feature to find a certain symbol and then a find next to find uh, additional entries with that. Also, we have a parcel transaction feature that enables you to uh, take trades from a T-log and send them over into another account. Um, it's very helpful in terms of backtesting. You may have a set of core trades you want to maintain, but alter them a little bit, and you can then start a new account, bring the older trades over, and uh, go to town that way. But that's the parcel transactions feature. You can clear all transactions in a T-log by using this feature here with a little eraser. Uh, market makers sometimes do that to start each day afresh. We can archive data, and then there's also a, a manage a custom classifications for your uh, classification list as well. And that's just a way of delineating trades and setting up classifications along with strategies in your R column to delineate uh, and group trades together. All right, you have the account list the drop down that will bring up all your accounts and then if I move over further you can see that you can set up trade IDs as well and uh, then we have the cancel and the OK button. Alright so this is the T-log with several features explained. That is how you enter trades particularly using the convert trades button from a proposed to an existing position.